Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I'll be reviewing iOS 18.3.1 after using it for three days. I'll share my experience with battery performance, bugs and overall usability to help you decide whether you should update. Starting with bugs and app crashes, I didn't notice any major app crashes, but I did encounter some minor issues. The camera app, in particular, seemed to lag or get stuck occasionally, and many users have reported the same in the comments. If you are facing issues with any specific app, make sure to update all apps from the App Store to ensure compatibility with the new iOS version. Moving on to performance, I tested daily usage and some light gaming. There were no noticeable lags or slowdowns, and overall, the performance was stable. However, Right after updating, the iPhone 11 showed a slight increase in multi-core benchmark scores, while the single-core score remained the same. The GPU scores remained almost the same as in iOS 18.3, so there were no major changes. Now, let's talk about battery life. After updating, there was no change in battery health. My battery test showed about 6 hours of screen on time in 24 hours. I last charged my phone to 100% at 9pm and by 6am the battery had dropped to 20%. Compared to the last update, this is not very impressive. iOS 18.3 provided the best battery backup, but in this version the drain is more noticeable. Looking at daily usage, on Saturday my screen on time was around 7 hours and 32 minutes. On Thursday, the screen on time was around 6.5 hours. On both days, my usage was mostly normal, with Instagram being used for about two hours. The total screen on time across both days was around 13 hours, which is decent. However, compared to my usual usage of around 46 to 54 hours per charge, this update falls short. If you use the camera more frequently or play games, battery life will reduce even further. In terms of storage, I did not notice any major storage-related bugs. After updating, around 2 to 4 GB of storage was freed up, which is a good thing. However, system data usage increased significantly. On iPhone 11, iOS went up to 12 GB, and system data is about 1.7 GB. So this iOS increase seems unusual. Regarding network performance, iOS 18.3 had good network stability, and I didn't personally face any issues with calling or Wi-Fi. Bluetooth connectivity remained stable, and I didn't face any issues there. As for the green screen issue, I have not experienced any problems on iPhone 11, and no reports have surfaced about this issue in this version. However, I strongly advise against updating your phone while it is charging or overheated, as this can sometimes lead to display issues. So, should you update to iOS 18.3.1? If you're on iOS 18, I would not recommend updating. Battery backup and performance were better on older versions, and there are no major improvements in this update. However, if you're on an older iOS version past iOS 17, updating is a good choice as it includes important security updates. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.